Don't mind me, I've just stolen all the spoons in the house. The Spoon Theory, written by Christine Maceradino, is a tool chronically ill people use to explain what it's like to live with a chronic illness. The Spoon Theory was born when Christine was sitting in a diner with her close friend, who out of the blue asked her what it was like to live with lupus. Knowing that her friend was looking for more than the dictionary definition, she proceeded to gather all of the spoons on all of the tables in the diner while lost in a train of thought. Allow me to walk you through what she proceeded to explain. First, I'd like you to think of all of the tasks you accomplish in your daily life. Everything you have to do day to day. Simple or complex, big, small, even things you do for fun. All of these activities now cost at least one spoon. For today, let's say you have 10 spoons. So let's get your day started. You probably start off by getting up, getting dressed, maybe showering, eating some breakfast, but slow down there, buddy. Let's break that down. First, you have to open your eyes and get out of bed. That's one spoon right there. If you'd like to shower, that'll be two spoons. You presumably gotta get dressed. So now you can either throw some sweats on for one spoon or make yourself a little more presentable for two. Maybe you don't typically eat breakfast, maybe you do, but if you have a chronic illness, you have to eat breakfast because you have to eat before you can take your meds. And believe me, you need your meds. So unless you can afford to have food delivered or you have someone willing to make food for you, that meal's gonna cost you two more spoons. Now you've only just gotten ready and you're already down to just three spoons for the rest of your day. You could still do something like take your kids to school, go grocery shopping, or hang out with friends, but all of those are considered three spoon activities, so if you do them, you won't have any spoons for the rest of the day. You could borrow a spoon from tomorrow, but then you'll have less spoons tomorrow, and that's not practical at all. Obviously, our energy levels are not some sort of math equation we can figure out in our head. It is much more subjective than that, much more based on guesswork and feeling, and it's very unpredictable, but it is always there. Living with an energy restriction is a very daunting part of life with chronic illness, and one that almost any chronic illness sufferer can relate to, no matter your symptoms. This is why many of us call ourselves spoonies. We're the people who have to hoard spoons and refrain from activities everybody else seems to participate in. It's nearly impossible to keep the house clean or have an active social life when it seems to take all of our spoons just to survive day to day. To quote Christine, I can never make it go away and I can never forget about it. I have learned to live life with an extra spoon in my back pocket, in reserve, to always be prepared. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll include the full text of the spoon theory in the description down below. Next week, I'll be making a video on the updated spoon theory, the battery theory. Until next time, hoard those spoons, guys, and be well.